Sometimes when you go out on a journey, you think it's gonna be easy. A walk in the park. That's kinda how we thought today was gonna be, but it did not go as planned. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. What's going on guys? Today we are back and we're heading out wheeling. So it's starting, the spring snow is finally starting to set in. We're having warm days, so hopefully the snow is gonna be great. We're gonna take it easy to start and then hopefully by like mid afternoon when we actually get in the positive temperatures, we'll start pushing through the good stuff. That's the plan anyway, so let's go see, well, how it goes. Sponsored by ExpressVPN. Driving down a dirt road can be rough, but sometimes it's the only way to get to your destination. Just like browsing the internet, it can be just as bumpy and unpredictable, especially when you're trying to access content that is only available in other countries. But there is a better way to make your online journey a bit more smoother and enjoyable. And that is with a VPN a virtual private network. Think of it kind of like a secret tunnel that takes you from your current location to your destination. Encrypting your data and keeping your data safe on your journey so that you can browse the internet without anybody watching your every move. I personally use ExpressVPN to connect to servers in the United States so that I can watch the thousands of TV shows and movies that are normally blocked for me in Canada. Plus then I know all my online activities are kept private, safe, and secure even when I'm on public Wi-Fi networks. So if you wanna take the fast lane to online entertainment, try ExpressVPN. So to sign up, check out my link in the description below and you'll receive your first three months free. ExpressVPN, the fastest and most reliable way to watch whatever you want, wherever you are.
We noticed some weirdness when we were driving it. It felt really hoppy and the shifters felt like they were moving a lot. Um, get out when it was in uh, double O here and look and a super hoppy look in there and the engine mount is like broken in half. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, it's not. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. We got yeah. so much space from the body lift. That's not going to touch anything. It should. I'm. I'm not worried one bit about that engine mount being broken. <laughs> it's just the day ender for me, unfortunately. Totally. It can't physically go anywhere or do anything. It's got two tranny mounts with the dual cross member and that. But you side. could tie it down. To what? For what? Just to keep. It's it still going to bounce around be. with a ratchet strap on there. <laughs> uh, be surprised. It'll help a, a bunch. No, I just won't guess it. I'll take it easy. Sounds good. I'm content. How do you want to get out of here? So, oh, we're still gonna go. Oh, hot. We're still gonna come out this way. That's no, I mean. We're here in the oh, snow. Oh, probably wenching out. It's nice and easy. Sounds good. So obviously a broken engine mount is kind of a day ender for us, but we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, the only way out is the, the the route that we planned on this loop. So we'll follow these guys. We'll we'll do some more filming. Um, but as far as like wheeling and uh, going intentionally through the deep snow, we're done in this truck. Unfortunately, my rig was not the only casualty today. Once Trevor's Forerunner got sucked into the ditch here, we realized quite quickly that his passenger side front tire was not spinning. Therefore, he blew a bird. I believe in that tree. It, that is Trevor's saving grace right now. Look at it. It's a big, thick boy. It's like a three and a half incher. Exactly. That's a lot. It's almost four inches. That's national average. Right, Sam? <laughs> Let's go tree. Yeah, the tree. 